Hi everyone, Sue from Mixed Media Craft Time. I'm here today to do another uh, page for my vintage journal using my 100 subscriber um, challenge entries. And this one is from Bonnie and Clive. And just a quick look at what was in here. Alright, we have <laughs> some book pages. I do remember there was something funny in here. Um, another vintage book that I can use. More vintage pages. That's very good. I like that. Uh, looks like uh, it was a dictionary page looking like it's another language into English, I'm thinking. Uh, we have a um, recipe card, a couple of little um, books that look like they're out of a little Bible or New Testament. Uh, some more book pages with different um, language. We have a vintage pink bag. We have some film strips. And we have the photograph from somewhere. And some string, which I think was, was tying it all up. A little tiny tag with a stamp on it. And the Sunday Mass book. This is what I was laughing at. Alright, so we've got a few things to work with. Um, I'm pretty sure I can use... Get out my sample page so I get the sizing. Pretty sure I could probably use this as a page background, although it is very, very flimsy. Uh, maybe one of these might be better actually. Yep, a little bit thicker. So we might try to take out the middle one. Oh, if I can take it out, that's it. Probably should have taken the staples out, but anyway. All right, so I might use this as the basis, but I might put something down there. Um, let me see, what have I got here? Could probably use a piece of this actually down there, although it might be better to use some. I'm just looking for some some coffee dyed paper. I might just have to go and grab some. Alright, um, okay, might actually just cut it so it's not quite as wide. It's actually really warm in here this morning. Um, it's not that late in the morning, but we're heading for a 40 something degree day today in Melbourne. And boy, it's hot already. Um, unfortunately, I have air conditioning, but not in the bedrooms or my craft room. So it's extremely warm. From tearing when I sew it into the journal. Now I'll pop it that way just because. I'm just thinking whether I should put a second one in there. No, I don't think I will. I think that will be fine. Alright, uh, let me see now. Well, this definitely I think I will use as a pocket, but I'm thinking I might actually make it into two pockets because it's quite tall. So I'm thinking if I chop that in half, I can make it into two. I'm going to take that off because it's a little bit damaged. What I might do is actually make that the bottom. How much difference is it? Okay, it's a little shorter, but that doesn't matter. What I might do is turn that up and glue it across there, I think. Okay, glue that closed and then glue it across there. Okay. Should have done it the other way. Let's see if I can still do it. Yep, that way. I'm using the back. All right, so that's one pocket, and I 
Alright, so there's two pockets that we can use on these pages. Probably do something like that so they're not right next to each other. Now, uh, hey, what I'm thinking, I think I might actually glue these together and that can make a tag. Yep, that would work well. I did see this idea on, I think it was Gail Agostinelli, Agostinelli's channel, she did this. And I think someone else will have done it before her as well. Possibly Rachel on Roxy Creations. going to cut the other corners. Now how close to my corner? Yeah, a little bit different. So we have rounded corners on all of the edges. And what I might do is sew around the edge of that when it's a little bit drier. And I might, don't know how this will go, but I might actually use that as a tab. Something different, never done that before. I staple that on there or sew it with the machine. Yeah, I think that will work. I might not even have to double that over actually. It's probably a single one is enough. Let's have a look. If I just staple that onto there, I think that's firm enough there. Something different, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Now, what else can we do? Now we do have this little tag, which I think I'll just put as a little decoration up the corner there. Uh, the photo I might just have it as a tuck-in, and it can be used as journaling on the back. So what I might do, uh, copy down paper, where's a scrap piece? Yep, might glue that onto there like that. Yep. Uh, craft glue for this one. And again, I might sew around the edges. I do like that look, I must say. Okay, give that a moment to dry. Um, Alright, thinking could be a journaling card as well, or it could be a corner. That's my four. Uh, I think if I fold that, how big is it? I think that might work. What I'm thinking is making it into a little booklet. Um, again, this can be the back cover, maybe that way. a big page so also put that might make another tag out of this I might make a large tag out of this Very, very blunt all of a sudden. Or the paper is a lot more delicate than I think it might be the paper. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, that worked. It doesn't matter anyway because I'm going to cut off the top. What I am going to do is fold this. Again, 
Cool it all down. Probably not quite thick enough. Probably do with another layer. Yeah, that would be a little better. Now I will sew around the edges of this one again as well to keep it all um, in place. Going with the theme there, I think we will do the same with both of these. So they'll all have the same little tags. Now, why is that not glued down? Okay, now because this one's got rounded edges, I might do the exact same thing with this one. Where did I put that? Because that way they're similar so that if they end up mm, if they end up going into the same pocket, they will look similar. So let me see, what have we now? Where is my page? Right, there, here we go. Now we have tags, we have pockets, so we could have one here. Actually, we may have to have those separate. Oh, maybe not. That could be there. This one can be here. So I can make another tag for that because this. They don't. Oh, it might fit. Oh, yeah, it does fit. Yep, we might have that in there. So that's that one. So I've got two pages done. Now, I was thinking of making a little booklet. Where is that card? With this. Okay. Right, this is going to have to be trimmed a little bit. That's interesting. It must be reversed. Okay, so uh, we will need to chop the sides off there. Okay, which is kind of good because it's not straight anyway. Maybe I should actually line it up. Maybe like that. Okay, so that's two pages, um, and I was going to use this one as well, so, um, not too bad at all, just a little bit off the bottom to sort of level that up, actually I might do this side because... Yeah, there. Maybe 
just a smidgen of the skin here. Just to tidy it up a little bit so it's not so frail looking. Mm. Alright, so that can tuck in there as well. This turtle is going to have a lot of pockets and a lot of little booklets, I think. Okay. Uh, something for the front. Where's that little, yeah, this one here. So funny. I remember reading some of these actually. I did wonder um, whether they would be any good because um, quite often a lot of these old-fashioned remedies actually did work, possibly better than the chemical remedies that we put in our bodies today. All right, what I might do is use some of the plain um, paper at the front. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit. Ooh, no, hang on a minute, what have I got here? No, there. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at that. It will fit if I staple. Hmm, didn't really want to staple. Alright, it fits the pages, but not the card. So we might actually just cut the card down a little bit to fit. Make sure this is straight to start with. It looks fairly straight. So that it's a similar length. going to do, um, I think, I don't know, I'm not sure which, is, which would be better for, I might do it that way because, yeah, I think I'll do it that way, um, and that doesn't need to be as wide as that, so we'll just trim that down a little, because it is going to be so hot to have shut the whole house up, all blinds, everything's closed, and I'm not leaving the house today, I've decided. It's just way too hot outside. I have, however, done some washing, um, because it's drying extremely quick, which is always good. It's just that it's so hot to go outside and put it up on the line. But... Um, what I will do, doesn't seem straight to me for some reason, let me just, maybe it was my folding that wasn't straight, right, okay, what I will do, I will sew those in as well, and I think I'm only going to have those couple of pages, I don't think there's the need for anything else, and I might just trim that, make it round, I kind of like the rounded corners, okay, Sort of like a little passbook book, passbook book. Okay, now I can put that on another page somehow, like so. Now, there's not a lot of um, decorative sort of things, uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the front. I kind of like this as a I know it's writing, but it's kind of like a pattern, more decorative to me. So what I'm thinking, I might do a little bit of a collage. Now the only picture, well there's a picture of a cricketer, mm -hmm. and Jim Swanson, okay. Neither really appealing to me, I have to be honest. No, oh hang on, there is a picture in the back there. 
Ten Health Commandments. Oh, shall I? Ooh. I kind of like the idea of reading those. But I also want the picture. Mm, okay. Hmm. Thou shalt respect thy body as the highest manifestation of life. Thou shalt nourish thy body with only natural, unpressed, live food. Okay. Maybe I do need to read them. Um, I don't think there's any pictures in that one. And no pictures in that one. And I'm pretty sure there was no pictures in this one. Oh, what's that? Prayer for vacations, okay. Alright, I might just do a bit of a collage anyway on the front. Um, a little bit of... I might use that just to tone in with those pages actually. Mm, of course it's ripped the other way. I could put it that way. No, I always like my collage, uh, collages that way. So. Different type of, oh, would be upside down, wouldn't it? Just a different type of text and colour page. What I should have probably done is distressed all those edges. Drats. I always seem to forget to do that. Now I was using those, but I still have this little piece left. I like that idea. Yep. Wind's picking up. It's getting very blowy. Mm. Great. Hot and windy. Lovely. Alright. Now they need sewing. So that's three pages. Now I've only got one more page to do. So if I put... The booklet on this one, the pink one, plain pink. So I need something on this page here. Oh. I might just make this into a journaling page, just using um, something like that and a bit of a collage along the sides. I might just do that, I think. Uh, yep, so I'll just rip that so it doesn't look well this way. Yep. Oops, that was not what I wanted. Didn't want it quite that bad. It's a little bit. Oh, it does not want to rip. Debating whether to do the other sides now. Actually, that one's easy enough because it's with the grain, but maybe if I overlap this one here. Alright. So it's going to need to be at least this wide. too wide now. Let me just trim the sides off. I must say I am enjoying the challenge of this because normally I'm very, um, 
I like things to match. I like things coordinated. I like, um, yeah, just, yeah, and this, this is sort of a little bit out of my comfort zone doing this. Um, because it's not, things don't match and the whole book's not going to, to match as such. It's going to be varied in how it's, um, it will be f when I finally finish it. So that's an interesting concept to me um, because as I said I do tend to have things matching and coordinated together and things like that so it's um, been a little bit of a challenge actually coming to terms with using the stuff that doesn't match and coordinate particularly but um, I have enjoyed it actually I guess just the fact that it is a bit of a challenge, it's always nice. Okay, I'm just thinking do something like that. And maybe something different in this corner. Could again put the little bit of pink. What could I make out of it? Could I make a little flower? Hang on a moment. Is it enough to make just like a little rosette or something to just as a little bit of a hmm what have I got sitting over here but I've still got this sitting on my table actually hmm Sure, that would be acceptable. Since I made up the rules, I guess I can change the rules. The idea was to try to use the majority of stuff that's in each of the packets, um, with adding as little as I as I could to complete the project. Um, but I don't think it would be too much of a cheating, too much cheating if I did add that because. I'm sure Bonnie could have added something like that in the packet. I'm sure like a lot of us, she has quite a bit of it. Um, another thing I still have is this little bit of paper from somewhere too. Which again, I don't think would be beyond treating. And I have added a couple of little things to other pages as well. So I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do it. I think I might cut it. Make it as a, just a little part of this thing here. Hmm. Or I could just add that across the top. I might just add that across the top. Maybe I could add that on top of that. There's an extra little bit of a... I might do that. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is glue this and then I'm going to sew all the little bits that I need to sew. Glue doesn't stick when you want it to and then when you don't want it to, it sticks. I'm just going to tuck that under there. Oh, it was upside down. That was the problem. Okay. Okay, now where's the other little bit? There it is. Okay, um, oh, my fingers are so sticky. I'm just thinking, will I sew that across there? I, don't, I think I will. Alright, I'm going to pause the video while I do some sewing now, so I'll be right back. Okay, unfortunately I lost the end of this particular video, so I'll just go very quickly over what I did to finish. Um, I've sewn around the edges of the little booklet, sewn down at the middle here, so and then I've glued it on, 
and there's the little collage on the front. The next two tags I've zigzag stitched around the outsides, including attaching the film strip, and I've also rounded the corner. And I did stick some coffee dyed paper on the back as well, so it's now for journaling. This one I did similar, zigzag stitched around the front and back, put some coffee dyed paper on it and rounded the edges as well. So those two tags sit into this little pocket here, like so. Uh, this page just zigzag, zigzag stitched that across the top, so that came out quite effective, I thought. And the back pocket, um, again, straight stitch around there, including the tag. I didn't do that, but I'm going to just round the top so that it matches the other ones. And, of course, it has the coffee dyed paper on the back. So that is my finished pages for Bonnie's entry. Um, so that makes entry number six now complete. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.